Welcome back to Character Select Challenge! Occupation. Police officer. Drug dealer. How funny a TV show called America's Drug Next. dealer. Drug, Drug dealer. dealer. <laughs> 100%. Oh, God, that would be great. All right, this is going to be the last episode. Yes, it is. For All this right. round, anyway. Um, yeah, last episode for this round. Uh, I need... I don't know what I need. You're almost at the end. You could use yeah. some smarts and some boldness. Boldness would be nice, yeah. I don't know where to get boldness. Uh, bathrooms. bathrooms. Skipping class. Skipping class. Oh, I've been, I'm gonna go to the auditorium. Right. Fuck it. Who knows? That day, while rehearsing for the class play, you can't help but feel that you're not as good uh, as the role requires you to be. There doesn't seem to be any ordinary way of getting yourself there. There might be an extraordinary way. You summon the devil, not <laughs> many, and make a deal to enhance your creativity just a bit. You gain plus two creativity, you also year, lose three years of life as uh, you are end of the deal, but who cares? They weren't happening in-game anyway. <laughs> nice. Short-sightedness. Forget about that, though. Polly's here, and she looks ready to party. So, basically, just normal. Oh, wow. Nice. That's Plague helpful. Doctor. There you are. My favorite party favorite besides ecstasy. Ready to get crazy? You ready to get crazy? You indicate through a heart-stopping glow stick maneuver that you are indeed ready to hit the clubs. The clubs? Not tonight, boo. Aw, she says boo. <laughs> tonight we're gonna go engage in my favorite pastime, party crashing. I just love crashing parties and making them go wilder and crazier, you know? Tonight we're gonna crash this totally sweet baby shower I just heard about. <laughs> and knowing you, I bet you've got some killer ideas for how to crash it. Nothing amps up a baby shower like extra babies. <laughs> Literally crash into the party like with a boat. Oh, Ooh. God. I don't know. <laughs> Got I want to do extra babies. I feel like the choices can both be beneficial if you have the stats for it. Yeah, but I, I don't know. Extra babies is, like... is probably more creative than crashing into the party with a boat. Yeah, let's try it's... it. There you so go, creative. so creative. Yes, finally something to do with all those babies I won in that raffle. What? <laughs> <laughs> I have many questions. <laughs> Later that night, who ordered a dump truck full of babies? The party guests cannot answer. <laughs> they are literally drowning in babies. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Now this is a party. I don't know why even like I don't even know I don't know why they even call it a baby shower if there isn't a constant shower of babies. Aw, oh, these babies are so cute. I bet I could fit a whole one in my mouth. You're welcome, guys. <laughs> what the f <sighs> The drowning party guests actually do look pretty happy to be drowning in babies. <laughs> A week later, you each get a thank you note for reminding us what a baby shower is all about. Swimming in a pool of babies. <coughs> oh my <laughs> god! Too fun. Oh my god! Shower. Oh. Let's go. oh boy. Hey. Mm. <sighs> okay. Where the hell do I go for charm? Is it the gym? Uh, charm. I don't know. Could be the 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 rave area is fun. I'm gonna go boost my smarts actually. Yeah. That day, your teacher delivers an amazing and creative performance that blows all your minds. It ends up being a sensation on YouTube. Your teacher gains plus ten coolness, but who cares? He's not trying to romance your classmates, or is he? We hope not. Also, you gain two smarts. Hooray! Hey, Blue. Remember that one time at that one party where you explained to me in great great detail. Your brilliant secrets of the business world? Holy shit, you did not. You do not. And that doesn't sound like your area of expertise at all. You must have been pretty drunk. But it's Vera, so you smile enough. Well, I will be attending a very fancy and important business dinner event tonight, full of powerful people by exclusive invitation. And by exclusive invitation, I mean I'm going to use my Gorgon powers to turn the concierge into stone and then sneak in. Nice. I'd love to see you put other people's money where your mouth is, if you're not doing anything tonight. 
you were planning on reorganizing your collection of very rare mint condition Pokemon cards. The popular trick Pokemon cards. The popular trading card game based on the even more popular video game Pocket Humans. Each card depicts a human being with a specific job and bio. But that can wait. So when the time rolls around for the fancy business dinner, you shove them in your pocket and roll out. Blue, over here. I'm glad you could make it. I've been raking in business cards hand over claw so far. I met Gertrude the Gorgonzola, the Diamond Tampon Tycoon, and Ray K. Bebop, the social media influencer slash rapper slash robot, and they're both very excited to, be, to do business de, do business with me. Plus, half the people in this room now follow me on Instagram because I had a zo because I had zombie tech mogul Steven Jabberwocky hack into their accounts for me. How have you been? How have you done so far? You turn out your pockets and show Vera the evidence of your endeavors which consists of the lobby card for the hotel the convention is in, and the only thing handed to you by a real businessman. A sticky note with the word NO written in red sharpie. Da, da, da. Maybe I should have invited someone else. Literally anyone else. No, It's okay, you still have half an hour left. Or still have an hour left of the event. It's time to pull out all the stops and choose an amazing tech and get as many business cards as you can to, to prove to Veer what a valuable business asset and or prom date you are. You have no business and therefore no business cards to exchange, but you sure as hell have Pokemon cards. Trade those. Convince the businessman that you have a rare disease that can only be con uh, cured if you're given 100 business cards. Uh, let's go with the first one. Mm -hmm. Quick as a flash, you pull out your dope po collection of Pokemon cards until you find the perfect po pocket human for the event. Regina Schmidt, queen of networking. She's the owner of a plethora of businesses, as well as one of seven guardians of the stock market. It's incredibly rare and gives whoever possesses it plus seven in networking, which makes it super valuable. Suddenly, you're surrounded by businessmen, each thrusting his card at you in a veritable orgy of potential business collaborations. Within minutes, you have so many business cards that you would need to be a tentacle monster in order to hold all of them. Damn, Blue. You really know how to clean up, don't you? I think you have a business card from just about everyone here. Just then, two businessmen rush towards you so fast, card extended, that they smash into each other and are both knocked out. I'm picturing that in my head, and it sounds amazing. <laughs> I stand corrected. Vera stoops down and collects the business cards from the unconscious men. You hand her the stack of cards you procured, and the two of you link arms and walk away. You toss the Regina Schmidt card over your shoulder without even looking to see who may catch it. You no longer care about its fate. You have everything you've ever needed. Bunch of business cards, plus two boldness and plus one smarts, and the affection or at the very least tolerance of a good woman. <laughs> the monster prom draws oh, no. near. Who am I gonna ask for prom? It's gonna be my girl. Hi. Yes. Blue, I will take my girl. Let's go. Oh god, that heartbeat. Jesus, that's loud. Oh my god. <laughs> Finally pluck up your courage and ask your beloved to go to the monster prom with you. You're asking me to go to the prom with you? Have you seen yourself in a mirror? Your face is a crime against humanity. And not one of the crimes against humanity I oh, enjoy no. perpetrating. Bye. Bye, Aww. It's okay. We moved on from this horrible and shameful failure. You became a functional person, and eventually you met a sweet man she named Ash. You shared lots of common interests, and after dating for some years, you married. One day, in the middle of a casual conversation, you mentioned that you could get a date for Monster Prom. Despite your years of happiness, your marriage couldn't endure such a pathetic revelation. And wow. so Ash abandoned you the next day. And thus, wow. you lived the rest of your life alone and sad. Never forget, Monster Prom is the most important thing. Let's do this! My charm is too low. I don't want to do this now! <laughs> You have fun out the wazoo, you're fine. You finally pluck up your courage and ask your beloved to go to the monster prom with you. Yes! <laughs> It'll be epic, boo! Shit will get pretty wild, uh. Yeah. Pretty wild, pretty Shit soon. Shit will get pretty wild pretty soon. Only one thing, if I were you, I'd get some good life insurance. <laughs> just in case. Party time! Oh, look at those two. Prom was wild! <laughs> But still not wild enough for the likes of you. So close to dawn, uh, you decided to keep partying by improvising a dope after party at an abandoned manor house. You partied with a group of classmates for days. Over time, people came and left. Some even died from too much partying. Nice. At one point, one of the deities of partying hard appeared, 
summoned by the deaths of your peers, which turned out to be a sacrifice to him. Double nice. He declared you as his heralds and bestowed upon you supernatural rad party powers, like endless confetti, whatever that means. Then he joined you, and you all kept partying for another entire week, because that's how you roll. Damn! <laughs> Blue, most likely to devour her own children to survive. <laughs> Polly's quote, whoa, those shrooms just kicked in. What's that about a quote? Salami. Wow. There are 394 events in this game. Uh-huh. With 1,408 different outcomes. Jesus. And there's secret we endings. We didn't get any of the endings. Apparently. Huh. Zero out of 23 endings. Those three weeks were maybe the most epic and absurd weeks of our lives. After Monster Prom, we kept on living our lives, falling in love, battling for friendship, and learning who, learning who we were and who we could be. And you know what? As it always does, life happened. And it was wonderful. Who are what? these people in the background? I want I, I, I want to date some of them. I want to know who this guy in the middle is, just above the tiger guy. The blob? Yeah. He's got like know. he's got like a hat penis thing happening. Yeah, uh, the got... top top left girl with the glasses. Yeah, she cute. Sc Scott and Polly started attending yoga classes. They were highly underwhelmed by the real thing. Vera realized she was a character in a video game, which infuriated her. She spent her life making connections and building power because she's not part of the game. She plays the game. So be careful. Maybe she's the one pulling your strings. Damien became an interior designer specialized in torture machines. Last month, Vogue magazine called his products the refined marriage between macabre and chic. During those three weeks, Monster Prom seemed bigger than life, and then it was gone. Just like that. The battle for Monster Prom might have ended then, but there were lots of battles left in that war called youth. But once again, we were young and unafraid, and we were ready to start. I didn't get any of those. On my ending. Interesting. I was like trying to follow along, and <laughs> this is not what it says. I don't know what to tell you. Well, that was a game. That was a that thing that happened. Jesse Cox produced this, of course he yeah. did. Or was a producer, I should say. He didn't produce this. Yeah. Well, I think it was it's his company. Is it? That made it. Yeah. Huh. There you go. I got dumped for Monster Prom. He did. <sighs> Aaron Hansen cried. Nathan Sharp. Christina V. Sarah Williams. I missed that one. Danielle McRae. Erica Ishii. Curtis Arnon. Burt Thorne. Damn it. Our Jeep Planner. <laughs> what? This is a I've, weird game. I've unlocked uh, something. I'm still uh, watching the credits. Oh, oh apparently wait. this game was inspired by the Yogg. Go figure. Yeah. Oh my god, this freaking music is hurting my ears so much. I like that music. It's great, but it's so fucking loud. <laughs> Polly good, water bad. Oh, I saw that too at the end. You've just unlocked an erotic fanfic about dragons. This is yeah, about to get here. weird. Same here. Three new images in the gallery. Sweet. Yay. All right. So that was Monster Prom. Next time on Character Select, maybe we'll play another round. Yeah, but maybe with more people, so yeah. it'll take even longer. Because Mal said he's interested in playing this game. And maybe some other people are too. Who knows? So... Yeah, thank you very much for watching. Make sure to click that like button down below if you liked it. And third, there was a computer face in the background here. There it is. Computer there it is. face? There it is. There it is. Where? There it is. There it is. They're not on mine, but I'm looking for it. I found it. What do you mean a computer face? It's a computer with a smiley face on it. Oh, okay. Like a monitor. Oh, and there's Blood Yay.